AMC builds the Concorde as an all-new car. Actually, it is an upgraded and reworked version of the company's old Hornet, including some minor design changes like rectangular headlights, a Landau roof, and opera windows. Exterior workmanship on our test Concorde was generally excellent. The paint job was above average in quality with a good gloss on top surfaces and about the usual amount of graininess on the sides. Our sizable four-piece set of test luggage fit without problem into Concorde's trunk thanks to a space saver tire. Options like power windows and seats aren't available in Concorde, but in the DL model there is a lot of standard luxury. Richly paneled doors, plush carpeting, and crushed velour upholstery. DL's reclining bucket seats, also standard equipment, were extremely comfortable. Other niceties, a standard digital clock, optional dome lights, and a lighted makeup mirror. On the well-appointed dash, the nicest looking imitation wood we've yet seen. But we did not like the fit of Concorde's glove box and a rear side panel. As for AMC stereo radio, the sound was excellent. Concorde's optional 258 six-cylinder engine performed extremely well. Quick morning starts without hesitation, smooth operation, and very adequate acceleration were its highlights. However, the catalytic converter on our Concorde emitted an extremely foul odor. I drove this Concorde DL almost 1,200 miles in local traffic. It averaged 19 miles per gallon in mostly highway driving, 14 miles per gallon in mostly city driving. The AC was on at all times and was adequate, except for an almost total lack of air flow from the lower vents. Concorde is a nimble car and it handles nicely. Under extremely harsh testing conditions, with quick sharp turning, it does become a bit mushy, but in normal driving, response is fine. Our bumpy road test brought out a couple of rattles, but generally, our test Concorde rode quite well for a car its size, a respectably smooth and quiet feel as advertised. Base price of a Concorde DL, including freight to Miami, is $42.12. Our test car, with its options, totaled $58.94. Next week, the new Dodge Magnum. Well, 